Grocery stores should pick a random hour every day where the employees can chase you around the aisles. And if they catch you, you become produce. Neglected to mention that this game is mediated by a sorcerer. Guys, what do you think, guys, Grocery Games is? No, Pavlov was the scientist. The dog is Pavlov's monster. While unobserved, Schrodinger is simultaneously the doctor and the monster. Can I go stay in the creek? Do you guys need anything? Yeah, I need you to find a leaf and gently set it in the water and watch solemnly as it floats away. God, finally a reasonable request. Jesus. When I was 10 or so, I was so deathly afraid of vampires, so I stole the garlic powder from my mom's spice cabinet and kept it in my coat pocket. And if I was out at night with, like, my parents and thought someone was acting really sus, I'd try to surreptitiously sprinkle a little garlic powder on them. Like, imagine a weird little girl deciding you failed her vibe check and promptly seasoning you. Kids are gonna go places. It's a red. California. Excellent year. It's a late harvest. Subtle expression of, dare I say, peach? Mm. Exquisite aroma. Now I shall cleanse my palate by knocking this glass off the table. Marvelous. Why are trans women so, you know, Yo, it's the trance. Oh, and the woman. My God, you're so right. Hello, don't mind me. I'm just gonna refrost the thing you were defrosting. I lost a follower immediately after posting this. I found the line. The limit of tolerability. The line exists! It just occurred to me that asexuals would make great secret agents because the power of seduction doesn't work on us but we could still utilize the power of seduction against our enemies without getting carried away and just, yes, asexual secret agents. Okay, but what if the enemy agent were also ace? Then you'd just get two aces trying to seduce each other and not getting anywhere. That'd be super funny to watch, though. I ship it. I'm making an NFT. It's called Fucking Ugly Monkey. It's the world's ugliest monkey you have ever seen in your entire life. It's worth $200,000. Yeah, I'd like to purchase it. You disgust me. Shocking how many people don't know that hens lay non-fertilized eggs and think the yolk they're eating is a baby chicken. Once tried desperately to make my friend understand that yolks were not, like, a liquefied potentiality of a chicken, and she looked at me for a while and then said, but they're both yellow. <laughs> Behold, a chicken. All of the Holmes adaptations always have Holmes and Watson running straight into action like we eat mysteries for breakfast, bitches. But the fact of the matter is, is that in a study in Scarlet, Watson was so shy that it took him six weeks to ask Holmes what he does for a living, which is also valid. Poor Watson. I feel you. So hard. But what does Tiki Nando's mean? It has to have a meaning. Andy, take it from here. All right, so, mate, it's hard to explain, mate. It's just like one day you'll be just, you know, with your mates having a look in JD, and you might fancy a curry club at the Spoons, but your lad Callum, who's an absolute ledge, and the Archbishop of Banterbury, will be like, bruvs, let's have a cheeky Nando's instead, and you'll be like, top, let's smash it. What the hell does this say? According to Miku Hatsune in two Twitter comments, creepers can be made of leaves and they sound like dry leaves. I mean, crunch. So, you can make tea out of creepers? My god. Tea burn! Hey, wasn't I Carly that guy that girl boss too close to the sun because he was down for Apollo? Icarus! Orc facts. If you hold an orc up to your ear and listen carefully, you will hear him. He is impressed with your strength. You will be married in the spring. Um, there's only one gender, buddy. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen someone say in Roblox. You tell me Roblox is the one gender? Ooh! Today in amusing Middle English, I came across an adjective meaning noble or lovely or beautiful. It can also mean, in various contexts, graceful, lush, splendid, mirthful, or majestic. The adjective in question is walk. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. 
someone reading my writing. Wow, great story! Me sticking my hands in the plot holes. Thanks! In a pocket. Plot holes are merely the pockets in which your audience keeps their fan fiction ideas. This is galaxy brain level understanding of story structure. Pam Seymour! As a tiny octopus, let me tell you an octopus fact. But only if you wish to receive an octopus fact. Bestow it upon me, tiny octopus. Octopus arms have a mind of their own. Two-thirds of an octopus's neurons reside in its arms, not its head. As a result, the arms can problem-solve how to open a shellfish while the owners are busy doing something else, like checking out a cave for more edible goodies. The arms can even react after they've been completely severed. In one experiment, severed arms jerked away in pain when researchers pinched them. This is beautiful information. Thank you, tiny octopus. To be honest, I think some people are rude as hell to certain artists that apply exaggerated proportions to their art styles. Some may decide to utilize a cartoonish style where a certain part of the body is bigger or smaller than the other. It's obvious that the artist is skilled and knows how the body's anatomy work, but choose to apply exaggeration to their rather harmless style. But some people will be snarky and say, Yo, why her waist so small in proportion to the head? Like, dude! You know damn well the artist is doing it intentionally. Why are the boobs and thighs so big? Because it rocks. And that's that on that. I think part of the reason why social skill lessons are always so vague and surface level is because if neurotypicals actually try to explain their unspoken social rules, they'd have to face how nonsensical and messed up a lot of them are. Yeah. Yeah, they would. I'm creating upsetting spells in my fucked up wizard tower today. Not that I don't believe you, but like, what makes the tower fucked up? Asbestos! My sisters will not stop referring to them as the Brothers Jonas. As though it's 1705 or some shit! Every time I read this post, my brain reads it as the Bronus Jethers. I kind of did that in a couple of takes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at this for four fucking hours. Tumblr should institute a mail forwarding option, where if you get an ask and don't want to answer, you can send it along to someone else, and they'll receive it like the ask and message them. I'm aware this would make the website worse, but bear with me. It's a good idea. Is Tumblr still relevant? Tumblr couldn't maintain its popularity against other social media platforms. Today, Tumblr is not as popular as it used to be for varying reasons. However, the platform is still online with occasional posts from its users. I I'm sorry, occasional posts from users? Oh, oh, fucking, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it! Andy, hold me, hold me back! I'm gonna fuck this page up, you think you can just fucking say shit like that to me? I've got 27 hours of content on this! I am the Tumblr Man! You don't fuck with the Tumblr Man! Do you wish you were seeing somebody? Yeah. A therapist. Oh? I kinda need a hug, but I'd rather die than let anyone know that I'm a human being that desperately craves intimacy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Thor is a blank slate when it comes to Earth culture, and the way he consumes it, it is very different from someone who grew up here. Bruce Banner at the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo painted this. Thor. I'm not stupid, Bruce. I know the Ninja Turtles aren't real. Nintendo pushed the Animal Crossing update early because they knew leaving it for the turbulently charged Event Horizon November 5th would be catastrophic. Straight up fact. What's up, girl? You look foreboded and malicious! Donkey to dragon. Alternatively, all of you and Lady D. Just saying. Screw this. I'm gonna start my own website. I'll call it Twimbler. It'll be a cross between Tumblr and Twitter. Features. Chronological dashboard. Everyone's profile layout is the same. Every other post is an ad. I'm bringing back the 140 character limit. Retweet bleeds will display under the original post. And the search feature won't work right. Thanks! Hate it. <sighs> Cut him in half. Hot dog or hamburger style, boss. She's out here making owl noises. Who? Exactly. Some people write fan fictions as love letters to canon. This is hate mail. Ooh, strong start. Reminds me of this I found a couple of days ago. Notes. Please understand that I consider canon to be a suggestion at best, and if anything here contradicts canon, no it doesn't. I'm the captain now. The cycle of four or five Christmas songs that retailers play on a loop 
from November 1st can be considered psychological warfare on their staff members. Ugh. I wish ancient people preserved their writing and artifacts better. I write in electronic signals on a piece of hardware that can't retain its efficiency for more than a few decades. Time to laser print my entire blog on titanium plates and bury them underground. BRB etching my one-star Yelp review of the sheet metal supplier that sold a shitty copper on a granite slab. My surgeon came out and told my mom and brother on Tuesday that I had been down and out for about two weeks. My brother. Two weeks? Holy shit! Surgeon. Well, consider this. She and I just had a knife fight, and I won because she was asleep during it. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fair. Your surgeon sounds fucking hysterical. <laughs> a magician asks you to pick a card. Any card, in fact. You do. They ask you to put the card back in the pack. Anywhere in the pack, in fact. You do. They walk away. Ten years later, your wife gives birth to the Six of Clubs. Is this your card? The midwife asks in a familiar voice. What the fuck? See, I thought I had more time on this, and I'm speaking this as I'm doing the post in audio and realize this feels too short. So, Andy, you know what time it is. There was a young man from Cork who got limericks and haikus confused. This is simultaneously comforting and uncomfortable. Uncanny Valley poetry. I love it. Knuckle tattoos that say escaped biohazard. That's way too many letters. Do you have radiation poisoning or something? Arr. Fool that you are. You forget that you too are mortal. The elephant dies as surely as the ant, but one exists on a scale beyond the other's comprehension. The ant can bite and sting for days, yet its greatest victory can only to be noticed. And in being so, crushed beneath the magnitude of its foe's attention. Do you dare draw their gaze and risk that fate? Add this to the list of raw-ass lines, lads. Peeling those sour rainbow gummy strips into long thin strings and putting them into cheap energy drink to create something I'm calling battery ads and spaghetti. Well, update once they finished it. <sighs> don't... don't do this. You'll understand when you're older. I am older, and I understand absolutely nothing. I actually understand less. I know a guy who's bought in entirely to Microsoft's ecosystem. He's got a Windows 10 computer, a Windows phone, uses Microsoft Edge, and has Bing as his main search engine. He refers to looking things up on the internet as binging it. Binging it. Very surreal. Never met anyone else like that. That was the devil. Dude, that was my cousin. Love is dead and never existed. All you did was betray me as I lay sick and festering. You are the definition of dread. Are you okay? My cat stole my fucking garlic bread. If I sounded like doof, I'd literally never suffer from voice dysphoria again. Accent so thick, gender can't be perceived. Yo! You get it. Every time I hear the phrase, great minds think alike, I am inevitably reminded that the German equivalent is Zwei dumm und Gedanke. Two idiots, same thought. Yeah. I had an ex-boyfriend threaten to publish my nudes when we broke up. So I published them myself with his threatening message and tagged all of his friends, relatives, and potential new girlfriend. I think the boy still has whiplash from that plot twist. You're my hero. All right. I reflected on the self. I'm 100% sure the beasts are the issue here. Hell yeah, bro. Time for tap surgery. Oh, sorry, homie. I see now you said beasts, like like the animal, not, not breasts, the, the words for boobs. Did not mean to threaten you. This is so fucking funny. Being alone in a public restroom is like, I own this place. And then someone else walks in and it's like, get out of my fucking house. 
Y'all really actually thirsty for the con man built like Scrappy Doo? Okay. Puppy power to ya, I guess. We have bisexuals, monosexuals, gay, straight, lesbian, and null sexuals. No romantic or sexual feelings for anyone. This implies the existence of the fabled trisexual. Please reveal thyself. <clears throat> uh, Andy, have me burst through the screen with the pride flag I'm going to put right behind you. Right fucking here, baby! Bruh.